So I'm back today to do a quick overview about how we use the dew point and relative humidity charts on page 12 in the reference table. I've gotten a couple of requests from people just kind of give a, an actual tutorial how to use these two charts. They're super easy to use, but a lot of kids tend to run into some trouble with some of the math. So basically what we have here is we have an instrument called a sling psychrometer. And what a sling psychrometer does, it is an instrument that measures what's called the dry bulb and the wet bulb. The bulb being the bulb of the thermometer. The dry bulb just basically records the outside temperature or the room temperature. Then the wet bulb, what we do here is we, we put some water on the cotton sock. And what we do is we spin this around. What that does, it, the wind will evaporate the water off of the wet bulb. And when evaporation happens, it cools down the temperature. Like anytime you've jumped out of a pool on a windy day, it could be 100 degrees outside. It'll be cold because the water evaporates off your skin. It cools you down. So what happens is you end up getting two types of temperatures. So here's what happens. I'm just going to use just a worksheet that I use in class. So the first example that I have is a dry bulb of eight and a wet bulb of six. So in this case, this is going to be lower. It's never going to be higher. That wet bulb is never, ever going to be higher than the dry bulb. What you do is you subtract them. Six from eight is two. Now, this is also called the difference. So the wet bulb depression is also going to be the difference. What I tell my students to do, I tell them to cross out the wet bulb. Once you get the subtraction, because a lot of kids use this on the graphic, you don't need this on these charts. You only need the dry bulb and the difference. So watch how we do this. Eight dry bulb, two difference. Dry bulb is the left side. So you find eight up here. Difference between dry bulb and wet bulb, two. You bring eight over, you bring two down. Now my suggestion is, is that you spend the time using the top scale instead of counting. Because a lot of times what I'll see students do is that they'll say, oh, difference of two. One, two. Nope. If you only count two columns over, you're only at a difference of one. You have to account that there could be a zero difference. So eight, zero, one, two, difference of two. So that eight is going to give you a dew point of three degrees Celsius. You do the same thing for the humidity. So you find the difference of two, dry bulb of eight. Eight on the dry bulb column, two along the difference. And again, you take this over, you bring the two down, 74% humidity. That's a pretty standard, straightforward problem that you'd have. I like the next one here because it gives you a difference of zero. So what you have to think about, so we gotta find the wet bulb. What number do you subtract from the dry bulb? Because remember, the wet bulb is gonna be lower. What number do you subtract from the dry bulb to get zero? Well, in this case, it's the same amount, 20 degrees Celsius. 20 minus 20 is zero. So again, I cross out the wet bulb just so we don't use it. There's your dry bulb, there's your difference. So we're gonna go to the humidity and the dew point chart. So you have a dry bulb of 20, difference of zero, bring that over. Look at that, it's the same temperature, it's the same one. So that's your 20 degree dew point. The humidity, you do the same exact thing. You find the dry bulb of 20, you find the difference of zero, it's 100% humidity. 100% humidity means you have a lot of precipitation. So this is, we would say that the air is saturated. You're probably getting some sort of precipitation here. But if you look, the dry bulb, the wet bulb, and the dew point are all the same number. And when they're all the same number, your air is as saturated as it could possibly be. You got some precipitation on that day. What happens if we have an odd dry bulb? Because if you look at all your dry bulbs here, all your dry bulbs are evens. Well, what if we have an odd? Well, if you have 27 dry bulb and a difference of five, what number do you subtract from 27 to get five? That's 22. Remember that the wet bulb is gonna be less than or equal to the dry bulb. It's never gonna be higher. Cross that out because I don't need it. 27 and five. So here's what you do. Go to your dew point, 
27 is going to fall between 26 and 28. So you find 27, you find the difference of 5, you bring that down, you bring that across, you're between 18 and 21. So you give me an answer between 18 and 21. So that's going to be, your dew point's going to be somewhere between 19 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. Do the same thing for the humidity. 27, so you find 27 is between 26 and 28. Bring it over to a difference of 5. That's between 64 and 65 percent humidity, so 64.5, 64 and a half percent. Okay? Well, what if we're given an example where the dry bulb is given to us and only the dew point? We've got to find everything out. So if they give you a variable that's given to you off the reference table page, go to that chart. So dry bulb at 24, let's find where it hits an 18 degree dew point. So 24 dry bulb, bring that over. Not a difference. I want the actual dew point of 18 right there. Bring that up. That's a difference of four. Now, what number do you subtract from 24 to get four? That'd be 20. We don't need that. You need the 24 dry bulb and the four difference. And we're going to get the humidity. 24 and four. Bring that over. Bring that down. 69%. Let me do that one more time, but I'm going to do that if they're given, instead of giving the dew point, they're going to give you the relative humidity. So let's do it this way. So dry bulb of 10, humidity of 13%. So you want to go to that specific chart. So dry bulb of 10 and a humidity of 13%. So you bring that across, 13% right there. You bring that up, that's a difference of 8 All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out what's our wet bulb. What number do you subtract from 10 to get eight? That's a difference of two Celsius. We don't need that. Wet bulb, once you get the subtraction, you don't need it anymore. You need the dry bulb and the difference. Now we're gonna go to the dew point chart at, with the 10, eight combo. Dry bulb of 10, difference of eight. Bring it over, bring it down, negative 14 degrees Celsius. The dew point is also is always a degree Celsius. Your humidity is always a percentage. So hopefully this kind of helps you out in terms of kind of navigating your dew point and relative humidity charts. I know they can be a little bit tricky at times, but if you kind of break it down, uh, these are questions that show up on every Regents exam. So definitely take your time with that. And as always, you guys can always send me a message through my videos if you have any questions about that. And please hit the like button at the bottom, subscribe, and look out for some more videos coming your way. Thanks so much, guys. Talk to you soon.